channel. My name is Lena if you're new and today we're going to be doing something super fun. We're doing a Maybelline drugstore haul and we're testing out all of the products on my face and we're going to see how they perform. I got all these products at Walmart. I'm going to insert a little clip of my sisters and I like on our little adventure to Walmart. My crazy sisters. We had so much fun going and like picking up all these goodies. Hey guys, we're on our way to Walmart. We have to pick up some stuff for Iftar tonight but we're going to hit up the beauty section because you can't go to Walmart without checking out the drugstore goodies. Very That's true. Right. And yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, just parked. Let's go. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. You guys, we forgot a basket. Actually, they don't have little baskets. We have to get a buggy. Okay. Whoopsies. Thanks, Mom. No problem. Sometimes Lena and Amanda like push me in the basket because you know, because he's our baby. I don't like to always walk. Okay, so we made it. Let's see what kind of goodies we can find today. What you got, Lena? Okay, this is the Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. We're gonna try that. Here, Lauren, okay. Basket Stop lady. Brow. Put it in. Um, let's see. Try this one. I mean, Lena have been trying to find a good liquid highlight. So this strobing liquid, we think we should try that. Which one should I try? Medium blue glow. Yeah. Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche. We're on the run. This is what we waited for. I hope you guys enjoy this little try on and review, and let's get started. Okay, I'm super excited to go straight in with the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is actually a really, really popular concealer that I have never tried. Oh my gosh, I can tell already that I'm going to love this so much. And I got a really good color. This is called Light. You guys, I'm so excited. I like really like this concealer so far and I haven't even blended it in. <laughs> Okay guys, I am really, really impressed with that concealer. I'm sure a lot of you guys already use this concealer because it's so popular, but I have like personally never tried it. And it's just so pretty, it's so clean, it gives a really beautiful finish. It gives really good coverage. It does crease a little bit, but I mean, what concealer doesn't crease? So yeah, I really like it. I'm gonna go set it with some powder and I'll be right back. Okay, next I'm going to work on my brows, and I picked up the Tattoo Studio Brow Gel, and I'm so excited to try this. The brush looks so good. There's all these, like, tiny, tiny little hairs. It looks super natural and soft, but still defined, which is what I absolutely love. Okay, I need some color in my face, so I'm going to go in with the Master Contour by Maybelline. It has a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight, and so I'm going to go in with this bronzer. It looks like a really pretty color. Okay, I love the bronzer. I'm gonna finish out with the blush and the highlight as well. Instead of going in with that highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Total Temptation Shadow and Highlight Palette. There's a really pretty highlighter in here that I really wanna try. This one right here. Oh wow. It's really pigmented as well. I'm super impressed with that highlight. It's a really pretty like gold champagne color, but it's not too gold. I feel like it could go on so many different skin tones and it had a really good pigment. 
so pretty i love it okay to start on my eyes i went ahead and i used the total temptation palette again and i used both of the peachy shades right here to just add a little bit of warmth in my crease i picked up both of the nudes palettes so i'm so excited to try these they have some really beautiful neutral colors i want to do kind of like a metallic -y, like goldish color on my lids the original nudes palette has a really pretty like goldish color right here I pigmented too so I'm gonna go ahead and just put that on my lid with my finger and we'll see how that goes. That's turning out super, super pretty. I love that gold shade. Just gonna kind of blend that out. I'm gonna go in with eyeliner and I also picked up the Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner by Maybelline. I love that it's like a felt tip pen. Okay, I just did a super thin line with that and it was really easy to apply and it was really black and I really like it. Next, I'm going to go in with mascara and I've never tried this one. It's called the Total Temptation by Maybelline. It's in really pretty pink packaging and the brush looks super promising as well. It's like thick and just has like really like lots of bristles. I haven't curled my lashes guys, so we'll really see how this mascara works. I'm going to do two coats on each side and we'll see what it looks like. So this is with two coats of mascara. I think that did a really good job of like separating all the lashes and just like really making them look kind of like fluttery. The little bristles on the brush are more like stiff so they do a really good job at like separating. I also picked up a like liquid highlighter which I probably should have used earlier before I used the powder highlight. But I just wanted to go ahead and like try it on with you guys on camera. I got the Nude Glow. Oh this looks a little bit too dark for me. Yeah, for sure too dark. It's like a bronzy liquid highlight. This would actually be really pretty if you had like medium skin tone, you could like mix it into your foundation. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and do my lips. I picked up two of the Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks by Maybelline. And I've never tried a liquid lipstick by a drugstore brand. So yeah, and I got both of like the nude colors, like the nude pink. So honestly, they look super similar, but there is a difference. <laughs> the darker one, Poet, is more of like a peachy pink and the one called loyalist is more of like a mauve tone pink so i think i'm going to do the peachy pink because that's usually the color that i normally go for i'm gonna go with poet and it smells like oh my gosh it smells like cake like vanilla cake that's dangerous when you're fasting okay that's a really pretty shade the applicator is actually like genius it's like a doe foot ap applicator, but it's like pointed. And so I've never seen one shaped like that before. It's super helpful because it helps you like create that perfect shape. So I did have some chapstick on underneath, but it doesn't seem to be very drying at all. And I really like that color. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little haul and try on. If you guys like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.